since we're already primed and ready to go, I am going to take Cupcake, which is just a nice fleshy tone, and I'm going to kind of tap that all over my lid just to give me a smooth I'm going finish. To take this color, it's called Chai, fluffy side of my brush, and I'm just going to get that on the crease, on the lid. I'm not going all the way up to my brow. It opens up my eye a little bit. It's like contouring for your eye, just that little bit. And then I'm going to take this color right here, Sabrina, it has a little bit of a shimmer in it. I'm going to put that right in that little inner corner, almost in my tear duct area. I think it just wakes up your eye. You can also take a little bit of this and put it right under your brow if you want to. Sabrina's nice. It has a slight shimmer in it, but it's not like super glittery or sparkly. If you want to add a little bit more depth, this is Bird. I'm going to put a little bit of that just above my crease, kind of lined up where the arch is. It's going to help be a little bit more uplifting there. So one thing I've noticed as we mature, most of the time your eyelids start to kind of come down a little bit more. So I notice instead of working way out here with like a wing or even my eyeshadow, I've lifted that up a lot and it helps really lift up your face. It's also why when I fill in my eyebrows, I always start at my arch. I want that to be the most focused area. It's more uplifting. I'm going to take that same bird, which is just a medium brown, and I'm just going to run a little bit along the bottom half of my lashes there, and that'll just give me a little bit more dimension. You can run some along the top if you want to, just really to make your eyelashes look a little bit thicker at the base. And that's about it for today. Just a really nice, light finish makeup. Soft and pretty and natural. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have any questions, let me know.